What is up guys, it is Nick and we are back on Shining Resonance Refrain as my chair squeaks to start the episode. We are back to uh, head out, we gotta catch up to Sonya, but first of all, let's take a look at all this stuff. So we got potions, we got three potions, pretty garbage, aspects, so put in vital, so increase magic, max HP by 10%, bond diagram, The boy was ca okay. How do I move? Knight of Astora, Snow Princess. So I can change. So Seagull in guest right? I'm gonna change her to. Can I train. I, I want her to be Snow Princess. Kirika, Diva of Diva of Nature, Lady of Elves, Moonlit Beauty. Dragon Believer. Okay, I kind of get how this works. Okay, she go this way. Windia Grasslands. Where am I supposed? Hold on. Did I miss any dictionary option? Okay. Head to the Windia Gla Grasslands. Yep, that's what I thought. Kirkia, Yuma, what's up? Uh, well, stuff happened, so now we're helping you two. Oh yeah? Thank you two. Well, I don't think it's anything we should be thanked for, huh? What's wrong, Yuma? This, the, the music in this game is really good. Nothing, I just noticed that strange tower over there, so I was just wondering what it is. Oh, that. People call it the Unreachable Tower. The unreachable tower? Yep, no matter how fast you walk or how hard your horse runs, it's no use. You can't get close to it, at least that's what people have always said. I see, what an interesting tower. It's probably like endgame content. Oh yeah, take this Yuma. World map, thank you. Oh, a map. Yep, see these marks mean... World map. You can view the continent of Alfheim by pressing the back to open the world map. I always call it the back button. I don't think it's called the back button anymore. Uh, <laughs> the world map displays the next destination. Check it when you are going to a new location. One look at the map should tell you where you are and where you need to go. Don't be afraid to check it when you need to. Okay, I think you're ready now. Let's go. Alright, so. Field chats. Sometimes characters invite a conversation while on the field. Various interactions can take place, including small talk and advice regarding your current objective. Depending on the message, you can respond by pressing left bumper or right bumper. Alright. Is this an item? Search points. You can collect many things and I'll find try examining the shiny search points. You might find something that will help you on your journey. All right. A heal mint. Right. Another heal mint. Do you actually have to fight anything? Hold on, let me look at the map. So we need to go here. Okay. Means we gotta go this way. All right. Got another heal mint. And you literally can skip enemies. So what I've learned, or not learned, what I found, um... Get ready! Here they come! Get ready! Here they come! Alright. Alright, we'll fight these guys. Conducting. While pressing up, you can order your entire party to change strategies. This is called conducting. You can use it to change the behavior of your party members. Additionally, by pressing down, left, or right, give out individual orders to each party member. This is also called solo conducting. Solo conducting is an individual order to one of your allies. Regardless of the current strategy, he or she performs the action commanded. Give out appropriate commands and defeat your enemies by synergizing with your allies. Holy crap, there's a lot of guys here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dodge out. There are a lot of these goblins. Oh, dodge out. And 
and that's the last one down. We have prevailed. Not too bad. Goblin loincloth, goblin, goblin charm, some gold. Alright, let's keep it up. Breeze field. I think this is where I need to go. Maybe. Yep. Ah, there's the event. So we got like some, they're called breeder shells. Hobgoblins. Griffin. Level 11 Griffin. There, that monster with the three of us, we can do more than just scout it. We could slay it. Can I count on you, Yuma? Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's go. With your power, you should have no difficulties whatsoever with that monster, your radiance. That may be so, but Yuma, if you don't want to... No, I'm okay. I want to help. That's why I came. Alright, then let's do this. Boss battle. Yuma can now unleash the power of the Shining Dragon. Dragon Shift. When Yuma releases the power of the Shining Dragon, he can perform a Dragon Shift. Hold left bumper and press right bumper to transform into a dragon. In addition to the increase of power, Dragon Shifting also decreases the MP used to perform force abilities for other dragon ears. The Griffin is a dangerous monster. Transform and fight with Sonya and Kirika. Dragon, I need your power. You're telling me I can just transform anytime I want? Dragon Soul Inheritor. Dragon Ship for the first time. The Shining Dragon can attack. He also has a dash attack with A and a backstep attack with X. Actions with the Shining Dragon do not consume AP. Also, he strengthens the abilities of Dragoneers to battle with him. Dragoneers will consume less MP when using forces and will be more likely to resonate. However, the Shining Dragon's MP will gradually deplete over time. You will also be unable to switch with characters or flee from the battle. Hold LB and RB to change from the Shining Dragon back to Yuma. If you try to perform an action when MP is low or fully depleted, the Shining Dragon may go berserk. The Shining Dragon will attack allies and foes indiscriminately when he is out of control. Use Dragon Ship appropriately, keeping track of your remaining MP. Okay. Hey, come back here. Hey, come back here. 571 damage. Can I keep an eye on that MP? Oh. Okay. Going berserk. If you try to perform an action when MP is low or fully depleted, the Shining Dragon may go berserk. In addition to sending out various effects to both allies and enemies, you also lose control and go on a rampage. When in Dragon Shift, keep track of your remaining MP to avoid going berserk. I thought it meant like when it hit zero. Hey, home dog. Come over here. Deal no damage to this thing. I'm just gonna, you know, dodge around for a little bit here. Um, really know what to do here. Far away to use that. Oh, we miss. All right. Well, <laughs> um, I done messed this up. How's that a miss? I'm sure the issue is that I don't have enough MP to heal. Ow. Ow. That hurt. 
why, why game. Alright. Oh, uh, I can only heal myself. Well, this is, uh... Twenty-four. Can I, uh, start this over? I done goofed! Is there something I can do? Sure, let's use that. And that. Suck on that, boy! <laughs> 50 damage! Alright, can you just kill me? Let me try to start this over. It's gonna take forever, we do like no damage. Hit me again. Thank you. I think I just screwed that up in all sorts of terrible ways, so... I had only done ha half health. I can understand that I... I done jacked that up. Alright. Alright, homeboy. Let's do this. Keep an eye on that MP. At about 35, we'll dip out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, crap. Mistakes were made. trying to break him, but I guess I can't. Million impervious domain. Oh. Not oh, what I thought. Oh, crap. Hey, heal me. I broke him! Yes. Gotta go for that break. Oh crap, that's not what I thought he was gonna do. You gotta heal me. Hurry up. Broke him again. Nice. Okay, probably not the traditional way they want you to kill him, but we did it. <laughs> Sound of Silence. Won a battle with a party member incapacitated. Yuma got no experience from that. There's got to be a revive potion later. Looks like the coast is clear. Looks that way. Thank you, Yuma. You were a big help. Let's go report back to Burroughs now, huh? There's no need to return to town. We can give our report right here, actually. Okay, thought my game froze. Ah, 
I've been made, eh? Captain Burroughs, what are you doing here? Begging your forgiveness, my lady. Killing monsters wasn't the only thing you were doing out here. I wanted to see Yuma and the Shining Dragon in a real fight, you understand. I see. That's why you were so adamant about this. Yep. Figured a monster sighting was as good a chance as I was gonna get. I suspected as much. Captain Furrows! Don't you think that's extremely unfair to Yuma? You tell him too, Kirika! How it's an affront to the Shining Dragon's honor or, or something. That may be so. But his radiance has blessed us with his sublime presence. His holy splendor. I knew of Sir Burroughs' plan, but said nothing, so that I might lay eyes on his radiance again. I'm not certain I have any place chastising the good captain for his actions. Lay eyes on... Whatever. Fine. Fine. We'll talk about it later. Let's just head back to the castle for now, okay? And I'll be sure to mention it to my father. How bravely you fought alongside us, Yuma. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, let's, let's return to Marga. Is he just out for the count? Homie's just down? Not He's not coming back? <laughs> Homie is just out of here. Get ready. Here they come. My dude is just down and out for the count. That's one thing I don't like about this game so far, is the fact on this main menu here, it doesn't tell you that, oh, hey, you need to go through this exit portal in order to get to where you need to go. It just is like, oh, hey, you know, you gotta go back here. You gotta pull up this map in order to be able to tell that. I mean, it's not an issue, but it's just kind of annoying. Like, would it have been really hard to put a star or an arrow or the exclamation points right on this exit here? My point, no, but it's not okay. like a game-breaking issue. Okay, so we gotta go to the castle now. How's it going? Oh, so you have to invite people to come with you? Mm. What? If you have something to say, just say it. Mm. Okay. Selections and affection. Sometimes when you are conversing with your friends, a selection will appear for you to choose how Yuma will reply. Depending on your selection, the affection of your companions will change. You should think about their personality and behaviors when replying. Letting time run out will, is also an option. Your companion's affection changes during events with them, as well as battles. Get close to the characters you like. Oh, Yuma, how are things? Have you gotten used to the city? Uh, sure. That's surprising, but if that's the case, I guess I won't have to worry about you anymore. <laughs> that makes me feel a little sad, too. Strange, isn't it? Okay, I don't know. Let's go to the castle. Yuma's back from the dead. Is this the castle front street? Is this even the right place? I think I'm getting there. Here we go. There's the event. Hi. Hey, homie. Having fun standing outside a door? Acting on your own again, Burroughs. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, old friend. Begging your pardon, Majesty. You know how it is. I just had to see the Shining Dragon's power for myself. I understand Captain Burrow's reasoning, and I don't think I'm going to pass comment. Not right now, anyway. But I will say this. Yuma fought with us, and he fought as hard as anyone else. There's no need to doubt Yuma's strength. Don't you agree, Captain? Is that so? Yes, Burrows. Let's have it. What's your assessment of Yuma's performance? He didn't know how to control the dragon. Um... He got smoked by the griffin, and then the girls finish it up. That's that's my uh, that's my assessment. With all due respect, of course, I have to disagree with my lady. From where I was standing, it seemed to me the Shining Dragon was a weapon of last resort. He hesitated, 
Flinched under pressure, hmm? Uh, Yuma, answer me. You're afraid of your power, aren't you? Afraid? You may be right. The dragon's power does frighten me, since... Since? Since? Ah, you've got your reasons, I suppose. But let me tell you, boy. Until that changes, you're a liability, and you'll have a hard time fighting. And that's all I've got to say on the matter, Majesty. Very well. I have no reason to doubt your assessment. What? But father... That will be all, Sonia. I suggest you return to the Seagull Inn and take a well-deserved rest. Am I understood? Yes, sir. If you'll excuse us. The boy fears nothing more than the Shining Dragon. It carries its soul within his breast. What a life that must be. Not exactly your typical trials of boyhood, are they? I trust you've seen the Gaelritz reports by now. About the Princess Axella, these Draco Machina of hers. Unless I've missed my guess, the Imperials are making ready to change the face of this war, Burroughs. With those Draco Machina running unchecked, the Shining Dragon may well be our last hope. We must have Yuma's aid. Everything rests on that boy's shoulders. Providence help him. Hey, Sonia, why did you talk me up like that to your dad? You made me sound like a way bigger deal than I actually am. Would he have gotten, uh, mad? If you hadn't covered for me, I mean. No, no, father's not like that at all. And I wasn't covering for you. I was believing in you. I do believe in you. Deep down, you have a brave heart. Huh? But I'm not brave at all. Yes, you are. You didn't want to fight with us, right? You were scared, but you fought anyway. That's bravery. You can always be better than the person you were yesterday, Yuma. So please, believe in yourself. Yeah. A lot happened, but we got the job done, so what do we do now? Irradiance, Sonia, a moment if you please. We have been doing a great deal of fighting, so I would appreciate a chance to get my harmonic tuned. Oh, good idea. Tuned? You'll see. Let's go to Lyle's, I can't, Lyle's Tuning Studio. I love this music in this game. I'll probably say that a million times before we finish, but I do. I really do like the music in this game. Uh, wrong way. It's so much easier to run with my map up like that. Alright, Lyle. You got some tuning to do. Good day, Lyle. Hey, Kirika, I thought you'd be dropping by sometime soon. Need a tuning? Yes, please. Leave it to me, but let's see, this must be the Yuma I've been hearing so much about. Huh? You know me? Yeah, Kirika's a Dragoneer, or as most townsfolk call them, Performers of the Dragon. Anyway, you've been fighting to protect the city, and that hasn't gone unnoticed. People talk, Yuma, and you're getting a bit of a reputation. I had no idea. But I'm getting off track. So I'm tuning Sonia and Yuma's weapons today? Well, my weapon isn't harmonic, so... Neither are my sword and shield, but Lyle can tune any kind of weapon. It's true, if I had to, I could even tune the power of a dragon. Huh? Wait, you know about... Heh, <laughs> I'm a professional. But anyhow, I can tune your weapons to suit you better in combat. Lyle's Studio. Lyle is a tuner who deals in all types of weaponry, like Yuma's Vandal Horn. Requesting him to change the tuning will greatly alter the functionality of the weapon. Tuning can be obtained by fulfilling requests from Fernando. Find the tuning that works for you. Okay, that should do it. Thank you, Lyle. No problem. Couldn't help but notice, though, you guys have a score of the Shining Dragon. Huh? Oh, this. Yeah, Griffin dropped it earlier. Figured as much. If you use that, you can enhance the power of your tuning. But Dragon scores are pretty rare. Don't go using them up on a whim, is all I'm saying, okay? Tuning. Tunings have proficiencies. The more you use one in combat, the more it pro its proficiency will increase. 
You can also inject the energy of a dragon score to greatly increase proficiency. There are a number of different dragon scores. The one you need will differ according to the tuning. Hmm, seems like something's going on over there. Yes, it seems to be coming from the Seagull Inn. Something's happened. Let's go. How's it going? I don't see anything happening. I truly don't. I don't see squad happening. Your radiance. Is there something you require of me? Um. Wanted to thank you for saving me. I'm under undeserving of your gratitude. It is my duty as a diva magica to serve you, your radiance. Rather, it was you who saved me. My humblest thanks, your radiance. Please watch over my us. Apologies. Is that like something when we're better friends that I can invite them to do stuff? Is that when they become my waifu? When I invite them to do something? I know this game has waifu stuff in it. Everyone, remain calm. Get the wounded indoors and into the back room. Supplies, medical supplies. Do we have any bandages left? Hey, what's going on? What happened? A dragon attack, my lady. It swooped down on us right outside the city walls. A dragon? Could it be a Draco Machina? No, I can't feel any of them nearby. Kirika, you can sense that? Yes, your radiance. All dragon souls emit an echo, a resonance. Diva's Magica attune themselves to it so we might commune. If any exceptionally potent dragons are nearby, I should be able to feel them. It's a live dragon then? Not a Machina? I thought the greater dragons all died out a thousand years ago. Yes, the tales say as much, but they also say this, that long after a dragon's body and mind fade, the soul endures. The dragons died out? And something about their souls? Wait, that sounds like... Given the survival of his radiance, and the nature of the Machina, I wouldn't exactly discount the possibility of another living dragon. We're gonna need eyes on it either way! Let's get out there! Oh no, this is terrible! Emma, are you okay? Oh no dear, it's just... Well, I hadn't seen Primula for a while, and I... I just found this note. This? Let's see. Going to gather some ingredients, back by sunset. She went outside the city walls before the dragon struck. No! My baby girl! We'll find her, Emma. Kirika, with me! I'll go too. More eyes can only be a good thing, right? I appreciate it, Yuma. Thank you. Now come on! Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next one, we will go find uh, uh, Primula and uh, see where she went to gather these ingredients. I guess we can kind of take a peek. Actually, nope. You can just... It's just telling us to go outside the gate. So, we will find that out in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.